Now, you may have recognized that all of the break music that they've been playing tonight was written by our next guest. The sophisticated, romantic music of Gino Vanelli has earned him a devoted, worldwide fan base, as well as classic hits like Love of My Life, I Just Want to Stop, and Living Inside Myself. He's earned Grammy nominations, gold and platinum records, and he's one of the few artists ever to have scored high on Billboard's charts for pop, rock, adult contemporary, R&B, club music, jazz, and classical. He's got a new single out. It's called Stormy River. You'll get to hear it in a moment, but please give a warm welcome to Gino Vanelli. Gino, great to have you here. What a pleasure. You have quite the career. 16 years old, you get a deal with RCA Canada, and uh, you're off to the races. And it must have been a thrill for a 16-year-old to get a record deal. Yeah, it, it was. Um, I got home from school, and I decided that I was going to call RCA Victor at those, in those days. And I put on a fake Italian accent, and I said, <laughs> I have a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I got an audition with, with RCA. I played all the instruments, and I came home, and I told my dad that I got a record deal. And <laughs> Did was, he believe you? Uh, at first, no. Yeah. No. But uh, it, it lasted for a little bit, but then I moved to New York and really tried to go for the big time, and that proved to be a little bit more difficult. But Herb Alpert was one of the people that also heard you, liked you, signed you with A&M Records? Well, that's quite a, an intriguing story because my brothers and I, we saved up thousands of dollars, of four or $5,000. We, we had a group. We uh, did everything we could to, to live on meager salaries. And we took a plane and we spent about four months in Los Angeles, knocked on every door and um, nothing. And uh, we were about to leave because we were down to our last five dollars. Mm. My mother had sent thirty-five dollars to Hollywood, Florida, instead of. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> Joe said we had to. We have to go tomorrow. I said I can't go. He says, "What are you going to do?" I said, "If I have to panhandle, I will." So that morning, before we had to leave, I woke up at four or five and I walked along Sunset Boulevard, and um, it was dark, and there was a church that was open, and uh, I decided I hadn't been in a church for a long time. And um, I went in, I was all alone, and uh, the pews creaked and all that, and I, it was about five in the morning, and I woke up, but uh, I, st I slept for about three, four hours, mm. and I woke up knowing exactly what to do, and uh, I got out of the church, ran to the hotel, motel, it was a pretty tawdry <laughs> <Yeah>. motel, <laughs> so I grabbed my guitar, and I told Joe, don't ask any questions, let's just go, and I stood in front of the gates of A&M. And I didn't know exactly why I was there. And the guard kept coming down, telling me, you're not going through these gates. Yeah. I, said, I know that. Anyways, a few hours later, Herb walked through the parking lot. And I said, that's what I saw. And, um, and so I ran through the gates, and he ran after me <laughs> with his gun out and yeah. everything. It just so happens that uh, Herb's uh, wife had nearly been kidnapped a month before. Oh. So they thought it might be round two. So I grabbed Herb, and he turned white. And... Uh, the guard grabbed me and hauled me off, and I looked at Herb, and he says, nah, come back. And he, he wrote me a little pass for 30 minutes, you know, to come back in 30 minutes. And I played him a few tunes, and he said, welcome to the family. Wow. Why don't you play us a few tunes? Because, you know, a lot of us remember, I mean, you've had a long string of hits across a lot of genres of music. What are some of your favorites well, that, that we're going to Well, one day, my brother Ross came to my house. He says, I got a song I think you should... Um, you should hear, you know, and record it for your next Brother to Brother record. Mm. And I said, okay, let's, let's hear it. He played it, and I, I said, it's very good. But he said, why are you so sad? I said, because I'm probably going to have to play that for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> was... And when I think about those nights in Montreal, I get the sweetest thoughts of you. Memories of love above the seas. It took so long to make it, but oh no, my heart just can't fail. I just wanna stop, tell you what I feel about you, babe. And you know the rest. Wonderful. We all know the song. 
How many times have you played that song or sung that song? Any idea? Well, I, I, it was a mission of mine to keep kind of altering it or changing it a little bit uh, so that I would keep interested and keep the band interested, interested. So after 35, 40 years, it's still a challenge to sing, and the band plays it so great. And um, I don't know. It just it doesn't bug me at all. Give us another one before we uh, let you really well, have at it. Yeah, I heard a click there. There you go. <laughs> sure. Remember this one? Was, uh, you know, by the way, um, Arista did not want to put this record out, and I, I begged them to put it out. And I said, please put it out. It'll do something. And they said, it's too complicated. I said, I don't think it's that complicated. I am lost Living inside myself Living inside this shell Living outside your love I am lost Somewhere inside my own dreams Afraid of what life really means Living without your love Gino Vanelli. Well, to keep up with Gino Vanelli and to find his current tour dates, recording, social media, and more, just visit Huckabee.tv. Now performing his new single, Stormy River, with Trey Corley and the Music City Connection at Mike on Bass, here is Gino Vanelli. <laughs>
driven to my destiny Unfulfilled until I pour myself into The open arms of my sweet departure If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.